All right. Cool. So, I guess there's just a bunch of things that I need to figure out. Because uh, here, if I do this, oh, it still breaks. What the hell? Why? PC. No laptop, don't do this to me. I'm trying to throw it. <sighs> okay, so there's some issues that I have. Here. Um, I think the main thing here is this can't be I don't think this could be const. Just needs to be a T reference. Need to be this. That could be that. Okay. So let's try this again. I mean, build errors. Okay. C plus plus return no reference.
Okay, let's see here. Can't do this during references. That should never be no. If I just return. I'll probably throw an error because we must return with that value. Mm -hmm. So we want a pointer. Because it would be better. Um, what if I just remove that? Hmm. But 
think I am gonna have to create my call this an arc for one. Okay, I uh, really don't like this. to be because the only other option is to return a null pointer. to do my own map. you try and access something that doesn't exist, then because huh. I just want to be able to Hmm. Okay, so I think I am going to have to figure out exactly I feel like I am going to have to actually take a look at what it is that I need to do here. Right. So, details. Um, so, Hmm. 
Is this gonna work? Oh, so what do I want to call it? Um, I can do the templates. I can do a template. Well, because here. <laughs> How am I doing this? Alright, we have an STD unordered map. Now it's size T and size T. Which is all the indices. And here we have the indices. Okay. What I'm doing is I'm passing in the pointer. to an entity. And the reason for that is to hopefully kind of circumvent one of the issues. But it might be better to Right now the systems don't need to be hmm. Oh yeah. Well in here I need to do Okay. Uh yeah. Um, when it changed, and um, this is E. I do believe, right? Yeah, I it's a uh, T reference. And here, I think the new system component changed E. I think it might be better to just be able to um, pass in the NTID entirely, so let's just do the type name I, type name, well, index, indexer. Type name value class map. Well, I mean, say you map. So, how's this gonna work? It's a little bit rough. For one, we need to have struts. Oh, actually, I can do key. Key. Well, T key. Key. Um, Key value. Um, yeah, so we have to have a struct entry, and then in here we need to have is we have a well, actually, the size. Which is the actual key. And then the size T will actually be a T value. Value. This might be a little bit different. Hmm. 
کنیم I don't really know if I want to hold an actual reference to the key. Right. I mean the size T could be because I do want to actually hold the, the information so it could be a T key pointer key right. Right. Yeah. feel like that would be good I allegedly have a viewer and if so, say hi in chat. Um, so now this is. Uh, um, struct leaf. So the leaf nodes. So the way that it would work is that it actually starts all the way at the bottom. At the leaf nodes, and as you start getting collisions, that is where things will kind of reorder itself. Right. So I need to have the strut for leaf. I need to have. Uh, come on. Come on. Oh, come on, don't do this to me. Jesus. Strict branch. Right. So here, and this would be an one. We will have a what is it? Uh, a T value array of 256. Um, mm. Via container. I should probably make a lot of these private, but I'm not going to for now. Um, and then this is... What is it? It's a T... T value... Operator... And then... Here, um, it could be hmm. because there very well could be. <laughs> Like in array will be the branch needs to just have a pointer uh, 
Oh. But the branch might not necessarily have all of these things, right? Because of the depth. The, the main thing they don't like is the fact that this is creating. Oh, I mean. I guess technically speaking, I could just dereference everything, so it could just be a pointer. And then if. Um, the oh, what is it? Um, comp dot indices dot find uh, this dot ID. Um, equals comp dot indices dot end then I can return null peak here return the that Do that for now. That is a thing that I could do. Should work. Okay, then in here, uh, this would be the reference that. Wait, the channel is forty one. Should just be like that. Let's see what's going on here. <sighs> Syntax error. New tells forty five. needs to be just cleared. Okay. Okay. Here's some text. Now let's try and do test minus components text and then std see out test components 
text. Setting to easy and down. Hopefully this doesn't break my shit. I feel like I actually need my own kind of logging system. How robust do I need this to be? So, impossibility A is I have Okay, so I could make Alright, so we have an entry, right? And we can have a struct node and then we'll have two types of nodes right we'll have leaf and branches right. so the struct leaf Here we will have an a t value contents of two hundred and fifty six. We'll have the key and the value. Okay. And then we want branch, which also inherits from node. And here we have a node. Contents. This will be node pointers. Okay. Alright. And here we'll have a byte. Is that not a thing? C plus plus bytes. Mm. 
Mike Unsign Char. We want eight T. Okay, let's take a look at Stack Overflow real quick. Signed char, signed char, and unsigned char. Three different types. Char has the same representations. Unsigned char is count. We know for a fact that unsigned char. Char count. That's fine. Okay, so we have these two things. I probably could have just inherited in that. Doesn't really help because node doesn't have well, I mean I guess I could split it up into three different ones leaf, branch, and node. Um or Branch and Ruby Graham. Yeah, I guess I'll make this leaf. Um, this is the last one, and the node will be um, unsigned. Try to count. This is probably really bad, bad, but I don't care. Branch pointer contents two six. Yeah. So how does this whole thing work, right? So for one, we need to have an insert. We need to have. Um, Void insert. And we want to have a T key key and then T value value. Yeah. We also need to have a these two things. Now the 
Let's see the the. How important is all this though? That's the thing. Because I can either work on the new map or I can also work on um void log. Const. Um, what is it? It needs to be const std. Well, oof. Oh, but there's so many different things that I want to do here. Right? Because the logging would be really crazy. For instance, like this whole thing here. I need to be able to check to see if the pointer or variable is a pointer. Another template function for this. Indeed, templates can do that with partial template specialization. You better use the method of a separate function now. Uh, is std is pointer. std is pointer. Include type traits. So, like, this whole thing here is a little bit bad.
Hmm. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. No, all that all is let's be tempted to down, so. Let's install these are templates. They need to have all their crap to find here too. So let's do log. Uh, void log. Oh wait, no, this isn't it needs to be a template. So let's main t log. Uh, yeah. T input. This is a void log. Okay. Um different specializations. Okay. So I can do specializations. So in here It doesn't really matter. It would be better if I did templates. T void log T pointer input. This is an overloaded version, so this version would be. TD, see out, inputs, and out. And this might not be super great, but Also not super worried about it because um, here it could be a CD. See out input STD and down. Hmm. Right. Um, I can do a myth clause. Uh, Input is equal to no pointer and std c out d and um, we can do that. Um, that should work. Right. Because here, then what I can do is log uh, test components text. Right. And then here, I have to do log test. Components text. It should work. Let's see what it is that we're dealing with. What? (sighs) 
Intense damage. Contents and greater than fire fifty four. Let's see if it's different errors. Why are you not happy about this? Hmm. That's why. Because that was a colon, not a semicolon. The first, this first hour has been pretty low energy and stuff, but fucking son of a- Oh my god. This is a null pointer. How do you check to see if it's a null pointer? What? Changes the name a little bit. The type of which null pointer is an instance. Representing null pointer is implementation specific, so a compiler may define null pointer however it wants and needs to make sure it can enforce proper restrictions on the casting of the null pointer T, the different types of which Boolean is allowed. Make sure it can distinguish between null pointer T and zero, so null pointer will be properly implicitly cast to it. Boolean false, so long as the compiler follows the C++ 11 language specifications and the above snippet still works. Hmm. Okay, so instead, it should go if input std see out D reference input CD see out no um and L else C D see out no pointer and L okay this should work Build, build solution. Two succeeded, zero failed, so no compiler errors. And let's see if there's an actual runtime error. Mm. Mm. Perfect. Don't understand. It's doing it multiple times though. Because why would it be running multiple times? That's a little strange. Okay. Um I don't know why. 
That's why. Okay, there we go. That works. Um, I mean, I could just do this. Now I know. That's fine. It's whatever. Okay, if input. See out the input. Otherwise, see out no pointer. That's fine. Okay, so that works. Um, and it's fine. And so I have a log. Um, started log. I don't really care about all that. Uh, another thing that I need to do is create the map class. I need to create um, set class. Okay, so I have a log for the map class, but I also need every factoring component changed. Static stuff doesn't necessarily need to be a thing. So I will need to um, make system and instanced class. Uh, four scenes. Um, I will need to do that at some point. Uh, what else do I need to do? See. Okay. Um. Yeah, they're on order map. I feel like I'm really gonna need to start thinking about. I don't unordered maps work. A lot more specifically because I am going to need to have some sort of container of some kind. Right? Because the way that I want it to do. Is in essence, right? We have the thing, right? And then as things come in, right? Right? Um, come in and we start adding information, right? And then 
as you fill it up or if there's just a clash in general right uh, what you end up having is You know, we have these, right? Well, let's do two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So you put things in, right? And here, right, we know that we have a thing, so we create three, four, one, two, three, four, right? So now what ends up happening is, well, this is here, right? So this has information in it, right? And then copy. And in fact, this whole thing here is actually just one each of these goes in there, right? So I could say do another one here and say start adding things in here. This goes back over here. Oh, but you know, this one was over here, you know, stuff like that, right? Um, and essentially what's going on is that you, a, pointer literally just you know OX and then you have you know C uh, F D um, A Right. This is essentially what a pointer looks like. It's just a number. Remember that, it's just a number. But we can do we can break this up into individual two digits. Right? And each digit is a byte. Each one of these is byte. So what you can do is that you can say um, so you can have an array. Right? So you can have an array that holds 256 entries and you just use this to index into it. Right. So if you want to know what's how to index into it, you just say it's this one. But what about but what about the depth? Right. So there's only 256 possibilities here, so it will fill up. But as soon as you do that, you can take a look at the next one. And now we have 65,536, 65, I do believe. Right? And that gives you some more possibilities. And you just have, and in most cases, right, like this will be fine. But you can go all the way up to here. <laughs> um, it's never gonna happen because you literally run out of memory. Like you'll you run out of memory here, right? Um, so and do this. So, 
<laughs> and we want to be lazy. We want to be lazy. So we only want to create what's actually like unnecessary. And we only want to create what's necessary. So we want to start at the leads, right? And as this fills up, we create a new array, right? And then we go through all 256 items and add that to this array. And then as you add it into the array, what ends up happening is you Oh, that's interesting. This could technically be like continuous, continue. Well, I mean, it's probably better that it's not, right? Because um, this could get very large very quickly, and it's not entirely good for memory health. doesn't exactly need to be continuous memory in order to be efficient so like it's fine um, and this will stay small right because not every entry into here because we, we only have a pointer right we maintain that it's pointers, then we're only taking up a very small memory footprint. So we start off with one of these leaves. And we start off with a leaf. Um, right, we start off with a leaf. And then. We might need like um unsigned char depth. Right. We could do that. So As the biggest problem is that we don't necessarily want to make these templates because that makes things kind of difficult. But the way in which it handles things is going to be very different. Right, because we also don't necessarily want to go the full like eight depths in, right? Two fifty six uh, times eight is equal to yeah, that's two kilobytes just to exist, right? So the actual typing may be very different. Um, I 
I mean, it's actually worse than two kilobytes. That's 2,048 entries being allocated. I don't like that. Right? Like, I really don't like that. It'd be a lot better if it was just. Like if it was just the um it was actually necessary, right? And how do you manage having a bunch of them, right? in the context of C++ how would you start off with a leaf and build your way up Right. I mean, leaf needs to be kind of templated, like the like leaf is sort of templated. Right, because it's the, the the way that you would insert. Is you would have something along the lines of you know, um, add value into active. Um, check the right. Well, I mean, like there's there's um. Different cases, right? So, um, if depth equals equals zero, right? If depth equals zero, then you want to uh, first you you um. If depth equals depth equals zero, then you uh, check check if spot is empty. If so. Uh, put value in spot. If not, then what you do put value in spot. If not, then you um it is not empty (sighs) 
then what you do is you uh, create next tier Um, add all oh, in trees to tier. Right. Like, I feel like that's how you'd have to do it. Um, but how do we actually pull this off? Because what we are effectively doing is binding a particular component to What we're doing is we're binding a like where we're binding an index to a particular to a particular um entity, right? I mean, I make this pointers. I make this pointers to information. Then we can have some really interesting stuff going on. So then we could say, hey, there's nothing there. It's empty. Because how do you find out if it's unallocated input, if it's unallocated memory, unless we have a pointer? Because if it's a pointer, then we could check to see if it's valid or not. Because as soon as you have actual raw information, you have um, all things are valid. And we do want to have some sort of invalid state. Um, right. We want to have a concept of emptiness. Right. Also, and then what happens if if depth equals one, right? to do right so first we we have to pass the information down right and again this is stupid fast by the way right this is ridiculously fast 
Um, because all, 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 all that it is, in, in essence, all that you're doing is, um, right, all you're doing is your array, and you're indexing the, the address of key. What you're doing is you're saying, um, unsigned char of the address of your key, right? That's, that's literally all that you're doing. Um, to, to show this off some, let's do this uh, std c out. Let's do unsigned char the reference of test. STD and L. So I can show you what it is that I mean. Yeah, it's on char. Um, let's do. Let's cast this again. <laughs> an int with an unsigned int. That's not how you spell it. Unsigned int, unsigned char, test. Right. And you will see what I mean. Yeah, it, it just becomes a number. 88. It's 80. It's, it's 88. Right. Um, C plus plus display char as hex. I might put an unsigned char as a he as hex in da 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 as a string. This is so much. Oh, what the hell? Let's see what happens here. Yeah. Okay, I'm um inside char. Uh flex. No. Yeah, 
let's just do that. This is fine, right? No pointer. What? I don't know. Well, it's still just a unsigned. It's, it's just a. It just becomes a number between zero and two fifty-five. Um, I'll never be over two fifty-five because it's just truncating the last bit. Right. Um, so, like, that's essentially how it's all being. That's how it's all being done, right? So this is, in essence, what's going on. This is how you index into it. Um, and then... You know, here you could also do something like bit shift this over by say two, and then you can do unsigned char unsigned char, and then you can do hash key All right this is essentially what's 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 going on because you are really just doing this so we need to find out what it is that you actually you know Referencing. And how to even find out what kind of key it is, right? Or what the value is. Um, right, so like. are essentially indexing into the whole map. Right. Um, <sighs> oh, my ass hurts. Ugh. It's not super great, right? Because, like, something like this is not super awesome. Because, like, the T value, it might be a pointer to a thing. This is only really good for a general purpose system. The more you generalize it, the the more it um, becomes a problem, right? Because so in with entity we have the component also how much does this actually matter? Right. 
Like how much does this really matter? Because this is... Yeah, this is 80 bytes. Oh, this is way smaller. Like the footprint of this is really tiny. Um, so I'm gonna keep it as is. Yeah, oh, yeah. Pass me my phone. Okay. Oh, <sighs> let's see. Oh, let's just drop these down here. Yeah, because there's like a lot of stuff here that I don't. Because, like, this only word map is tiny. But I also don't know how much overhead it has. Right. Like, I don't know how much... Like, I, I, I have no idea what the, um... These are 8 bytes, these are 8 bytes. Means that's ten dimes. Right. Look, I don't know how rapidly that grows. Because mine, if I do make my own U map. I will have each of these is 256. And that's 256 times H times 2. Yeah, that's 4096. 4096 bytes. Like, that's kind of big. And that's just one of these. Entry can be that in here. It could be a pointer to a value. But that doesn't necessarily need to happen, right? That's a bit much. Oh, let's do another. Let's just add some things. Boy. 
data in it. And then void update. This is a double DT. Um, Here's component change, here's the component lists. So here it'd be system. No, oh, I. Wow. Well, these are going to be static for now. Um, void. System and it's here. We'll have uh, four. four const auto reference sys. List. Right. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, we just feed. Yeah, for uh, const auto it's in sys dot entities we do sys dot sys function With a value of type const size t. This is a set of size T. I'm passing in the IDs. Wait. because I want to be able to do this.
I mean, it'd be better if I just do entity pointers. Right. So it's a set of enemy pointers. Then here, I can dereference them. And then that'll work. Right. And then here, I can do void system update double dt. And then this is a for. Uh, well, I guess I could do a const auto sys and update list. And then for const auto, I want to do const here, const here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, instruct uh, update struct. Another thing that's actually different. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, the ordering is important. Um, that's why I have that explicit there. Auto ints in sys dot entities again manipulating memory. Basically, all that uh, C is good for. At least that's its job, is to, make, is to manipulate memory. We just pass in a dereferenced entity and the DT. And that's fine. Oh, right, no, no, dereferenced entity. And then DT. Um, and then here, what we actually want to do is take the that. Oh, wait, stop it. And just take that. Take the entity pointer. Right, yeah. As if the component insist comes, but entity components count comp and equals entity comps count. Wait, what? Yeah. Yeah, if it's called, then you just insert the empty pointer. That should work. Let's, uh, let's try it out. Let's do system... Make sure there's nothing breaking. Hmm, failed. What failed? My fail. System init void. Reference and function and resolve. What do you mean? Build. Build solution. Stop it. Get some help. 
Okay, they both succeeded. Okay, I just need to build both. Cool. Because mine is done. What? Hmm. So that is printing out the actual. What? Why do you do that? I think I need to dereference it. Yeah. That's troublesome. And why do I do that? Because of this. That's right. I changed that so that it would do that. Yeah. That's why. Oh, I guess it helps if I also do uh, STD and L uh, here. No, I, I don't need another semicolon there. Oh god, why? Exception for unrated access violation. This is a null pointer. That shouldn't even be a thing. Because it should be empty. What is going on here? Um, hello? because it's not properly removing them. Mm. So the component changed isn't working. So component changed is incorrect. Hmm. Let's take a look here. Entity dot comps dot count comp. I know what's going on. Zero. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, I'm a dumbass.
Let's do uh solution I can do this let's see what's going on here what? oh yeah of course which means the reason why this is not working is simply because I forgot to do this. Oh, else system dot entities dot uh, erase entity. Now I'm going to do that here. System dot entities dot erase entity. Now, this should work fine. Okay. There we go. Yeah, that works. So, that whole system works. Having the log be a thing is really important. So Oh yeah, I can just do size of. So I'm kind of curious. So normally, um, the and this on the map is normally eighty bytes. This is norm <laughs> forty one. So this is normally eighty bytes. That's just pointers. The component struct. Why is the component struct so big? Because it's another unordered map. That's size T and size T and then What? This is one but why is STD storing so massive? Why are they so big? Why did this balloon up? That's still 41 kilobytes. Why is... Yeah, that's 40 bytes. I mean, int is 8 bytes. Why is it a thousand times bigger? Why 
Why is it so big? I mean, it's not that big of a deal, I don't think, but I'm really curious about. This is literally one bite. Here's one. Because the arc C. Because the arc is. It was the arc, so it's small. Mm, that's why it's so big, is because the arc is so big. Yeah, I'm really going to need to do that. So... Okay, so that's why that's so big. So 80 bucks. Let's... Um, print out STD. See out. And then we can do... Components. Text dot in... Oh wait, um, what I actually want to do is size of, there we go, components, text dot indices, which tell me the size of it, and then dd and l. So I'm curious. Still 80. Interesting. Okay, well, I think that's all the uh, testing and stuff that I really wanted to to do for now. Um, I know that the arcs. Arcs need to be dynamically sized. They they need to be dynamically sized. I also need to figure out exactly how I'm gonna handle my maps, or if it's even necessary. I need to figure out it's the only other option is to like benchmark reading and inserting and all that stuff like what the, like what the performance is on all that um, because I feel like yeah there's a lot of wasted space but I feel like the I feel like there is quite a lot of these accesses and I feel like it will catch up quickly. Mm. Yeah, and, and given the fact that um, very similar to why like the arts don't need to be uh, like it doesn't matter that much about them because they're not it's not that big of a deal I don't feel like 
um, because there's only one instance of right? only one instance of tax, one instance of int, but depending on how many you know individual components I have, that may have a lot of bloat. Having some dynamic sizing might be not a terrible thing. Um, yeah. So things to keep in mind for later. But anyway, uh, that'll be it for this string. Uh, just about everyone's.